I've got a vegetarian dish for you guys today. It's going to be great. We've got cauliflower in there. We've got these beautiful butter mushrooms, lots of fresh herbs and cheese. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And you can make this super healthy by using wholemeal pasta as well, or any type of pasta you want, even the um, insect pasta if you want, because it's high in protein. Now it's time to get cooking some vegetables, Mark. No meat today, <laughs> vegetarian dish. But when you said cheese and cauliflower, I was like, yeah, oh, I'm we, excited. Yeah. Well, we've got some great flavours in here, you know, cauliflower, super tasty, super cheap at this time of the year. Mushrooms as well, herbs and lots of cheese. Yeah. You man. know, you don't always need meat. Okay, right, well, let's get cracking. What do we need? All right, so we're going to start the base of it now. So we've got some onions, so yep. I'm just going to sweat them down. So I've just put a pan on. Mm -hmm. A uh, little bit of olive oil you can pop in there. Thank you, sir. And then we're going to start sweating the onions, garlic and chilli down. And that's going to be the base. Okay, nice. All right, and then I've got some uh, boiling salted water just in the corner. And then we're going to cook our pasta. So you can cook a little bit of that as well. Oh, okay, cool. What sort of pasta is that, by the way? Well, it's a wholemeal pasta. Okay. But as you said, you know, you can use any types of pasta if you want. So we're using a penne today. The water. Do you salt the water? Yes. Okay, salt the water. <laughs> salt the water, everyone, if you didn't know. And then put your pasta in. I always put a little bit of oil in mine as well. You can put some oil in there. Please. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, also, I've put... No, I'm just joking. No. That's all we do. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so the little bit of oil just uh, stops the pasta from uh, all sticking together. I mean, it's not so bad in penne because it won't sort of stick together too much because it's larger. But if you're doing spaghetti, definitely it works uh, a lot better like that. Okay, nice. Right, so look, let's sweat the uh, onions. Yep. A nice warm pan. So onions going in. You can put the chilli in at the same time with the onions. A little bit of seasoning in there. And we're just sort of sweating that down. So no colour, just bringing out all the flavours. And then we'll give it a minute or so and then we'll put the garlic in. So I've just sliced the garlic nice and thin. Okay, usually you cube it up. Why, why just slice it like that? Yeah, way? I mean, just something different. So I'm just looking for different textures through here. So we're going to put the cauliflower in, and we're going to put the mushrooms in, and we're going to cook them together so they're nice and soft. And then we're going to sort of mash it halfway down so it's all about texture and then fold the uh, pasta through at the nice. end. Nice. Okay, so cool. This uh, is good. Yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. Yeah, beautiful. Right. Right. Oh, I can smell those chilies. You and your chilies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were yeah. quite hot the other day, weren't they? They were very hot. <laughs> Let's so right. always, always try your chilli uh, so you know how hot it is and you know how much to put in. Right, so garlic goes in now. If you find the pan's getting a little bit dry, you know, you can add a little bit more olive oil, that's fine. You know, you need the olive oil to, to just help sort of evenly cook uh, food. You know, sear it or sweat it. So, get it on like that. Okay, right, and, and you're then, finely chopping the yeah, cauliflower, yeah. Because yeah. obviously the um, you know this is nice and they're quick. The mushrooms are going to cook quite quick. You know we'll leave them a bit chunkier, but the uh, cauliflower is quite hard. So, well, you, you know, you chop it in half, and I'm just sort of slicing. You can cut it into little fillets if you want, but this is going to speed up the process. Right, so it's kind of like a big shave, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sort of shaving it. <laughs> 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 I've shaved the vegetable before. <laughs> wow, that could sound wrong. <laughs> if you were just listening to this, you would have looked up then, wouldn't you? <laughs> so just doing that. Oh, there's so Mark can... shaving the vegetable. Okay. <laughs> so you can do that. Keep all your cores though, because you can use that. You know, you can make a puree out of that. Oh, so yeah, much flavour yep. in there. Oh, good work. Right, so we're just uh, looking at that stage now. I'm just going to get all this ready when we put it in. So just going to cook it a little bit more. I'm going to pop some herbs in now, so a little bit of thyme. So thyme, great with mushrooms, and I've got um, parsley as well, but we're going to pop parsley in at the very end. But any sort of hard herbs like thyme, uh, rosemary, sage, you know, you can put in during your cooking uh, process, so that will release lots of flavour, lots of um, mm. uh, taste in there, you know, and they won't go brown so much. You know, the soft herbs, if you put them in, you're going to lose all that flavour straight away and they're going to go brown. Okay, so, so save the soft herbs for the end. Okay, hard herbs in at the start, soft at the end. It's all smelling good, pasta's coming along nicely. Brilliant. Mm. Right, next stage, you're going to put that these in, in yeah? Yep. Okay. And then we're going to get the mushrooms chopped, pop them in, and then get them all cooked. Absolutely brilliant. More of Mark's top tips for getting this sorted. Coming up in just a minute, and also you can catch the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Our pasta, a vegetarian pasta bake. This is smelling great. We've put the cauliflower in, it's softened up a little bit. Yeah, now we put the mushrooms in. Yep. And you know, these are bottom mushrooms, beautiful fresh ones, you know, it's all white. I've left them a little bit thicker. They're not going to take long to cook. Great. You know, so we're just going to cook them with the uh, cauliflower as well. 
Um, if you wanted to, you can turn the heat right down, put a lid on there, and it sort of steams as well. Yep, Gives a nice good. bit of texture. Yeah, nice. And that's what I'm liking about this dish. The way that you've shaved that cauliflower has left, you know, nice little bits in it, and uh, it's going to be full of texture. Oh, I know, yeah. And, and it looks and, and smells great. And I think shaving vegetables is the future. <laughs> <laughs> that's the future, that's right. Well, there could be a market for that. OK. <laughs> um, this pasta, you want me to check that? Yeah, so check the pasta, mm -hmm. and then once we're, once we're happy, we can strain it off, and but reserve a little bit of the cooking liquor as well, because we're just going to add from? it to the sauce. OK. All right, OK, give me some pasta. That's it. It is going to be hot if you do this, but it's always a good idea to take a piece out, test it, make sure you're happy with it is cooked, because once you strain it, it's going to be hard to uh, cook it if it is too crunchy. Mm, that's OK, good. beautiful. Yeah. So, okay, I am going to grab a towel because that is really hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you want a little bit of liquid, so I just might do it all in here, actually. Yeah. Give you as much as you want. Okay. <laughs> is it going to be hot? No, good. Yeah, that's good. So if you pop it back on that pan, turn it off the heat, and then that'll just drain. But we'll just get, we don't need all that liquid. We'll just have a little bit. Yeah, so just let it drain. Right, so you can see now, mushrooms are just sort of softening up. You know, we're not overcooking these mushrooms. Yeah. You know, because you want to you want to keep that nice shape, that nice texture in there. So just as they're cooked and just started softening, that's what we're after. You know, if you keep cooking the mushroom, all the moisture's going to come out, and it, it just tastes like cardboard. Then. Yeah, it smells good though. Right, so that's cool. So I'm going to turn that off the heat. Yep. All right. Let's get this in it. So a bit of ricotta. Ricotta. So I'm just going to stir that through, and that's just going to melt through. And this is going to be mm. the start of sort of the. Uh, well, I suppose you could sort of argue like almost like a sauce, yeah. really, lightly. That's why you need a little bit more of that liquid, isn't Yeah, exactly. It? So th now we want to put a little bit of uh, the liquid okay. in here, and it's just going to help it melt down. Perfect. We've got a bit of lemon juice. Just, just uh, put yeah, a good, little bit in. Good splash, yeah. Yep. Yep, perfect. Good. So that goes in there. A little bit of lemon juice. No pips. Give that a stir, right? And you can see you're sort of getting that nice creaminess. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, at this Good. stage now, you know, because we've shaved it, we've got these nice little sort of textures in there. But if you left it a little bit bigger and it's nice and soft, you can sort of, you know, you've been be quite brutal now when you're sort of turning it around. So you're sort of mashing a little bit. Pasta can go in. There you go. Just mix that through. That's uh, heaps. Nice, healthy pasta. So you're mixing that through. You know, if you find it's getting a bit dry now, you know, you can see the pasta's gone in now. A little bit of sauce, what you had, is sort of going around the pasta. If it's a little bit dry, you know, put another splash of your liquid in there. Okay. Give it a taste. I tell you what, this is looking fantastic, actually. And a lot quicker little, and little easier than salt. I thought. And there that chilli is really hot. <laughs> Again. <laughs> You know, give it a stir around, now you can put your parmesan in there, and just the heat, the residual heat of mm. that is just going to start melting around that. Just before we serve, a little bit of chopped parsley goes through, check the seasoning again, and lots of good uh, black pepper, really good with cauliflower and mushrooms. Oh, this is smelling incredible. And there you go, I mean, like, that, so easy, all in one pot, nice and fast, really tasty and full of texture. Rightio, we'll serve it up. It is ready, are you ready for some vegetarian oh, yes, food? yes please, yeah. <laughs> no, I am. I've tasted this before. It's really good.